Okay, welcome to Coffee Havoc number two. I have been having a very, very, very bad day. Problem of the one is you will not freaking imagine. I got a screaming meanie in the room. Another, both, both the girls escaped me today. The dog has escaped me today. This baby here has stained my bed. Yeah, this little cute, innocent little guy here. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Those were clean sheets. Yeah. So. I can't really wash my um, stuff until my relief pitcher gets here. But. Someone took the liberty amongst himself to kick his crabby pamper out of his mama's hand and all of my fucking sheets. Damn. So I tell people all the time that bad things happen in threes, but for me, I'm that blessed guy that has it happened in seven and eights. So I'm not a happy camper. I have to take all my sheets off my bed because happy-go-lucky here done shot his deuce and kicked it loose all over my bed. Now, my feelings are hurting right now. I'm, 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 I'm all kinds of emotionally upset right now because I just washed these sheets last night. And little stinky McStink stink here has um literally <laughs> rent my sheets in less than 12 hours. And this big sister screaming like somebody's killing her. She's gotta be the scream queen when she gets on her. Denise the menace. Good grief, man. Ah, oh, God. Oh, no, it's soaked through. Damn. And it's like yellow shit, too. Why do babies have like the oddest color shit? You going for a ride, Slick? There you go. Damn. You done crapped up my sheets, man. You know, I'm kind of glad I don't have kids now. I can't believe it. Don't look at me like that. You crapped up my sheets. Dude. Do you not realize how upset I am right now? Of course you don't. Because you're a baby and you don't care. Take a nap, Lonnie Mae. Oh, man. Damn. Damn it all. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you have ruined my day. Oh, uh, you have totally, totally ruined my day. Why? Why? Was the white boy Roy too far? I mean, your aunt named you that. I didn't. I just picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> It says the kid who didn't get shit on his sheets. Damn, man. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so, I guess you guys can see I also changed my shirt because the dog jumped on me in my Deadpool shirt, which was white, and the mud is brown on the back of my shirt. You know, it'd be my luck. It's probably on my damn pants, too, which would be just freaking great. Okay, it's not on my butt. So we're good there. So the dog doesn't belong to me. I'm sure the owner is not going to buy me a new freaking shirt. Plus, it wasn't a shirt that you could buy in the store. It was a shirt that was online that one of my siblings gave to me. I am not happy right now. White Boy Roy, spotlight's on you. So, yeah. My sheets are ruined. Well, at least the sheet that I sleep on top of because I never unmake my bed. Yes, I am that damn lazy. Because in the Army, you know, in the Army we had to make our beds, like, all the time. And if somebody didn't have those corners, we got our shit tossed. So that wasn't cool. So yeah, we um, we definitely have found ways around stuff. The bed's made, I just don't sleep under the sheets, if that makes sense. I have sheets, they make the bed look great, but I sleep on top with the comforter, which is covered in shit right now, yellow shit, because it's seeped all the way through. Because white boy Roy here just... <laughs> His asshole <laughs> exploded. <laughs> and then after that, he um kicked the shitty piper, the pamper, and <laughs> wipes out his mom's hand. And uh, um it discovered my sheets. All over my sheets, dude. Why? Why boy Roy? Why? Why? Why you do that to me? Hey, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Why? Why you do that to me? Huh? You ain't nothing better to do? That doesn't sound good at all. Um, thank you guys for watching. It's comfort having number two. Be seeing you.